for news. Neighbors helping neighbors in the Sierra. Take a look at this. They're still digging out from feet of snow and getting ready for more. It's been a long week for many people in the mountains, and while progress has been made, some are still living without power and travel has sometimes been tough. Yeah, and that's not the case right now. A live look at I-80 at Castle Peak. The road is clear and traffic is moving along smoothly. And while a travel issue isn't an issue right now, power is still a problem in some parts of the foothills and the Sierra. The area impacted the most is Nevada County with about 5,800 customers still without power. That is down from 6,100 at this time yesterday. Some of those people haven't had electricity for more than a week now. And while utility crews work around the clock to get power back on, digging out from all of that snow we've gotten is a lot of work. Many have had to rely on the kindness of their neighbors to make sure they didn't get stuck. KCRA 3 is Lizay Mitri joining us live in Pollock Pines right now. How does it look at the moment? Well, it's not snowing, so uh, that's a, a nice break, right? But the snow, this is what's causing all the problems, right? This is the snow piled up here at the Shell gas station uh, after the parking lot was plowed. But you can see even the areas where the snow is still untouched, it, you can just see how much they got here in this area. It's covering the cars over here um, in this area, just this thick blanket of snow. And it's just a, been a similar sight around people people's homes. People were seeing the snow just piling up around their homes. This is what it looked like outside Allison Conroy's home. She lives alone and said she had been snowed in for five days before she paid a snow removal crew to dig her out. But then the snow just kept coming. She thought she was going to get stuck yet again until she learned her neighbors had taken it upon themselves to clear her driveway. I was just so blown away. You know, I didn't solicit anybody's help. You know, I didn't ask, just people just came and did it. And they not only did it for myself, but they also did it for another neighbor down the road. I'm 85 years old and my daughters worry about me out clearing the driveway and shoveling snow. And I tell them, don't worry about it. I got good neighbors. Notice you didn't see those good neighbors. They did their good deeds and moved on. Uh, they didn't do this for recognition or for any attention. The people we talked to said they just did it because they are good people. Live here in Pollock Pines, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. All right, Lizay, thank you. Let's go to Live Copter 3 right now. Less active than yesterday, as you can see, all those clouds in the sky. And let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan for an outlook on what we are seeing on Doppler. Not much. Yeah, there's very little activity out here today. A few scattered showers. Uh, we've got a shower, a little, a little area up here along Highway 99 toward Yuba City, but that's about it. Some brief rain here and there, but I'm much, much less active than what we saw yesterday, and that's the way it'll stay as we go through the evening hours tonight. However, there is one more area of rain and snow that's going to come through before we see this pattern change that we're anticipating for the end of the week. So let me show you that. This is around 2 o'clock in the morning. This is the line of rain we're expecting, and we are going to get more snow in the foothills. Let's fast forward to about six o'clock in the morning. Rain in Sacramento. The roads will be wet for the morning commute, but the bigger concern is more snow down to about 2,000 feet, maybe even about 1,800 feet. Some of those lower spots, we are going to get more snow. We'll have more issues on Interstate 80, Highway 50, and Highway 88 tomorrow morning. All of that will wrap up rather quickly by noontime, but not before we do get more snow in the Sierra as well as down into the foothills. Pollock Pines will likely see another five or six inches of snow up on Donner Summit, maybe more than a foot, and we'll also see snow in Colfax and Grass Valley. So this will impact the morning commute once again along Highway 49. More foothill communities will be impacted by snow tomorrow morning. Beyond that, we're looking at a warmer change. I'll show you the latest thinking on that in just a couple of minutes. Thank you, Mark, and you can follow the rain and the snow showers on our KCRA 3 app. Be sure to turn on alerts to get notifications on when active weather is happening in your neighborhood.